before the Aventador came along, Lamborghini's Halo supercars shared a very important connection. They all used the same V12 engine. This vein of history started with the Mura and ran to include the Countach, the Diablo and the Murcielago. That's over 40 years of use from one engine. However, for the Aventador, Lamborghini shrugged off its past, grabbed a blank sheet of paper and started from scratch. And this is the result. The engine is new, the chassis is new, the suspension is new. In fact, the only thing that isn't new about this car is the badge. Let's start with that engine. Thankfully Lamborghini didn't stray too far from convention. Here we have a wonderful V12, a 6.5 litre, with 700 horsepower and 508 pound-foot of torque. Lamborghini has also ditched the six-speed manual gearbox in favour of a seven-speed semi-automatic. In the middle, the passenger compartment is a brand new carbon fibre monocoque that is stiff, light and safe, and helps explain why the Aventador costs as much as it does. 242 grand if you're asking. What you're looking at then is a Lamborghini all right, but a Lamborghini we have never seen the likes of before. The scissor doors open up in true Lamborghini fashion and reveals a car that is well and truly fit for the 21st century. Just ahead of the driver we have a TFT display, a bit like a computer monitor, and the starter button is located behind this red switch just like you get on a fighter jet. It will hit 62 miles per hour in 2.9 seconds. Rocket on to 100 miles per hour in a smidgen over six and eventually run out of puff at 217 miles per hour. Perhaps the Aventador's most important function is this, the drive select mode. So our first setting is Strata, and this is the default road setting. Um, if you're just driving to the shops or whatever, you'd probably just put it in that. Put it into sport, and you can immediately feel the car tense up. The steering becomes more direct. The suspension is firmed up and the ESP is turned off slightly, so it'll give you a bit more slip at the rear. And then we have Corsa mode. This is by far the most extreme set, and you can hear it in my voice. It's fucking brittle, isn't it? The noise is like nothing else on earth. It fizzes and whirs, and you hear all these strange noises going on. But pull the left-hand paddle down a gear, and it just turns into an explosion. This might come as a shocker, but the Aventador really is a bit of a softy. Sure, it might scream like a tiger and looks like it could bite your head off, but even when pushing on on a country road, it just feels safe. <laughs> 